What's up, everybody? Ardo Cal here with ESPN Esports. Be sure to watch the Rift Rewind, an ESPN League of Legends show, every single Monday night, 6.30 p.m. Eastern, 3.30 Pacific, on Twitch, the ESPN app, YouTube, and Twitter. Could be Fnatic, that's the top of the LEC. Emily, what's your scouting report on Fnatic? So I really like, uh, I've been enjoying watching Fnatic a lot, actually. Um, I really like Selfmade on this team, and I also really like how they've been using Nemesis. I know there have been a lot of, like, jokes and memes about how he's now, like, an Ornn main uh, in the mid lane, but if you look at where they really had success with Nemesis last year, it was when he was on the TF, right? And, and that was, like, by far, you know, that, that was a champion you must ban against Nemesis because he was that good and the team just looked that good with him on the TF. Um, I think one of the things the TF does is, you know, affect side lanes really well. Um, and that is what he has also been able to do with the Ornn. And the reason why um, I'm specifically bringing this up for Fnatic is because last year it really seemed like Broxa was always torn between Oh my gosh, I need to go top because Bobo wants to be the carry. Oh my gosh, I need to go bot because Reckless wants to be the carry. And the setup they have now is that Nemesis is taking a little bit fewer resources and he's picking stuff like the Orn mid, which ties into what the meta is right now, but it also allows them to focus on both Whippo and Reckless, and there, I don't feel that same tension in self-made. Like, he just kind of goes where it's optimal for him to go. I really love him on this team. I've loved some of the picks they brought out for Whippo, the Zac top. I really liked that. Um, so I think this is a team that, whether it's through the addition of self-made, whether it's just the fact that they've really found their stride in this meta, I, ha I really liked their recent drafts, and I really liked how they played them out. Um, despite, I know everyone was kind of like, Zach, top, what is this? But <laughs> I, I mean, I really liked it. And it I think awesome. this is a team that, you know, after being torn between like these two carry side lanes, has now found a much better balance for this split. And I don't know why that is, but whatever they found, like keep doing it because it's working. Uh, T Nod in chat uh, says Bwipo is a stud. I agree. I actually love watching Bwipo play. He's Whippo, quickly becoming yeah. one of my favorite players to watch because he's really exciting. Yeah, he, I mean, his explosion onto the 2018 world stage yeah. uh, was great. And uh, I think that his rise and steadfastness is really great to watch. His yep. Pantheon pick was, was really great against the Alfari's Soraka. Uh, the Zac top lane, I'll echo what Gem or Emily said, was um, like a lot of fun. Like you, you just get to see, I think, a little bit more fun fanatic when they do those kinds of drafts, sure. which is what they want to. They want to play a little bit fast and aggressive, and they're going to make a couple of mistakes here and there. But uh, I totally agree with Emily that, that the way that they're drafting and playing uh, just allows them to have that identity of where they want to put their resources into. Emily, what is your fanatic prediction? This is a hot take at this point either. I feel like all of my takes are very lukewarm. Um, but my prediction <laughs> is that Fnatic takes. is going <laughs> to... I know. Like, my, my prediction, my incredibly bold prediction, because, you know, they're tied for first right now, is that Fnatic is going to finish uh, in definitively in the top spot for the regular season. Not playoffs, but for the regular season, I think Fnatic is going to take it. Like, I think they found their stride, and they're just going to springboard off of this.